Ever since the beginning of the genre, cars have been a huge part of hip hop. Today we are gonna discuss which rappers have the best and worst taste in cars. I am joined by my esteemed colleague, Nolan John Sykes. Hello, thank you. I'm James. He's Nolan. This is the d d d d Tremendous gratitude to Amaze for sponsoring this video. We're here at my private island off the coast of Costa Rica where our friends at Omaze and I have been working tirelessly to bring you this. Welcome to your chance to win a 2021 Ram 1500 TRX, the ultimate off-roader. Not only do you have the opportunity to win this beautiful creature, taxes and shipping included, but you'll also take home $20,000 cash. Ram has spared no expense with 35 inch tires that can roll over anything, reinforced frame, underbody protection, and even has specialized Bilstein suspension. But what truly makes the TRX the king of the off-road? Bingo, Hellcat DNA. <laughs> That's right, this baby has a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8, pumping out 702 horsepower. That's a lot of giddy up for a dino daddy. And best of all, every donation supports Team Rubicon, a nonprofit that utilizes the skills and experiences of military veterans to help people prepare for, respond to, and recover from natural disasters. So for your chance to win this Ram 1500 TRX, shipping and taxes included, plus $20,000 cash, go to omaze.com slash donutmedia. And if you enter the code RAM150, you will get 150 additional entries. Wow. Hey, hey, Hello, 911. My friend is fighting a truck off the coast of Costa Rica. Okay, see you in three days. Help is on the way! I just want to make it clear right off the top, Nolan and I are not experts in music mm -mm. or pop culture. Mm -mm. We're just two guys who like talking about cars, mm -mm. okay? So we're gonna look at a bunch of different musical artists and rank them on a tier system based on how good of taste we think they have in cars. So right off the bat, we're starting strong with a guy who's got pop culture caught under his finger right now, okay? okay. A guy who's very relevant. A man, a man named Travis Scott. Travis has said in an interview that he doesn't even think he could name all of the cars that he owns. That's, that's a life. That that's is a life, a right life there. dude. I mean, he's got two brown Lamborghinis. <laughs> two brown Lamborghinis. Uh, yeah, Should we just talk about that? Like, I, yeah. I admire that right off the bat. Yeah. I mean, it's like an, I don't like it on the Urus, but on the Aventador, I like brown. That's like uh, a bold color. Mm -hmm. His. Jordan 1s are like sort of that same okay. brown color. Okay. So it does feel like he's going through like a color phase gotcha. with those cars. So he's got the Bugatti Flex, he's got the Lamborghini Flex, but the real reason that Travis Scott is a real contender for S tier. <laughs> need I say more? We got the freaking <laughs> FD RX7, we got a Mark. Four Supra, and I know that this M3 really pissed everybody off, but I'm pretty sure that it's just a wrap. So, who cares? So chill out. Also, chill out. Also, that's a wrap because I think <laughs> Nolan agrees that he's 100% an S tier artist. Uh, I'd say A tier. A tier, not A tier. S? I think he's got the best taste. We've only done one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so we'll put it somewhere right in the middle. Sounds middle good. Of A and S. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how this next guy has so much money. So much money. Lil Uzi Vert. So he's got a $24 million diamond embedded in his forehead. So you know he's gonna have some cool cars. <laughs> Nolan liked that Travis Scott had two brown Lambos. He thought that was a flex. Well, all of Lil Uzi's cars used to be olive drab, but now, lately his cars all have Atasha wraps, mm -hmm. which is cool. uh, like anime. It's a zoomer move. Yeah. I don't like the Superman spec Bugatti Veyron. I think that's <laughs> pretty damn ugly. I Sorry, Uzi. Cool. You think that's cool? Yeah, well, it's Cowboy Bebop. It looks like a McDonald's Playhouse. <laughs> yeah. I do like the the variety. I think that's that's awesome. Right. I just can't abide by those yellow wheels, man. That's yeah. really ugly. I'd say C. Because I like if I'm honest with myself, like I don't like any of these. I wouldn't want any of these cars. I'd want the Bugatti. 
You've seen every other automotive YouTube channel teach this guy how to drift. Next up, we have T Payne. <laughs> He's got an E46 drift car. Um, and he installed the coilovers himself. All right. And he's also got a, like a, pr a relatively famous Pickle Rick S14 uh, LS swapped mm. 240 okay. with an S15 front end, which that's, is like cool. cool. That it's is, very cool. cool. So he told Sean Evans on Hot Ones that he likes driving his Mini Cooper more than his Bugatti. Um, and then he sold the Bugatti after a $90,000 radiator repair because According to him, he drove it hard once. Yeah, I'll I like give him props. E46, and I like that they're both drift cars. Yeah. And LS swap. That's really cool. I'm gonna say B, dude. I'm saying B. Yeah. Solid, solid B. Yeah. Well, I am. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I am. We've talked about this guy before. Yeah. Um, um, Apple D app is not on this list. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that he's not. So, I mean, will I like just? I like that. He takes swings. <laughs> yeah. They are... I'm fine with it. I think it's fine that he takes swings. I, I encourage him to continue to take swings. I don't want to stop him from living his life and being full of joy, doing whatever makes him happy. I think these cars look like absolute <laughs> <laughs> ah, So It's just, come on, dude. What do you, uh, what do you I think? I don't know. Taste, we're talking about taste, Nolan. Yeah, they're all ugly. But I just admire that he went for it. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. We're not, we're all not, right, all we're right, not all right, this isn't a it. chutzpah <laughs> tier list. All right, this is a taste. Ah, uh, there's no moxie like, <laughs> yeah, points I can yeah. give him? Okay, all right, well then F. Yeah, F. Next up we got Killer Mike, 100% S tier, huge car guy. Yeah. He's got uh, a Grand National, he's got- Impala, uh, right? The, one of those Impala SS's? He's a huge car guy. Yeah, huge. Okay. Killer Mike, 100% yeah. S tier. Welcome at our office anytime. Uh, anytime, at my home. <laughs> <laughs> you can come on over. Next up we got Action Bronson. He's also a contender for S tier, for sure. Like it's a like old BMWs mostly. Okay. But I think like, for some reason, his taste fits him so well. Yeah. It fits his aesthetic so well. Like so his dream car was an uh, an E31 850, um, cool car. which he owns now. Um, he also has an E24 6 Series, which is an awesome, awesome car, um, and an E34 wagon, which he has tattooed on his arm, his E34 arm. <laughs> Listen, I think this is a solid A. I'll say B because yeah, it's, it's not BMW. <laughs> <laughs> and action B Ronson. Oh. <laughs> Ludo! Ford GT. That's the supercar I want. That is the one. Mercedes SUV? Sure. He's a dad. Of course he's going to have an SUV. Uh, Acura the NSX Acura that NSX. Acura gave him because they also restored his legend because he loved it so much. Little known fact about Ludacris. Uh, maybe you didn't know this, but uh, Ludacris is in the Fast and the Furious franchise. S tier. Yep. S tier. Constant. Constant. He's a hero. <sighs> Frank Ocean, bro. Famously has the orange E30 M3 on the cover of his mixtape Nostalgia Ultra. Great tape, buddy. Great tape, dude. Dude. In the music video for his song Nikes, uh, there is a McLaren F1 race car. You know uh, what kind of connections you need to get? Not like you can right. get a McLaren like pretty easy. I would imagine yeah. pretty easily yeah. if you're a big uh -huh. artist. But like a McLaren F1, they don't make them anymore. Mm -mm. He published a zine called Boys Don't Cry with a bunch of pictures of a Lancia Delta Integrale, which is like that is cool. Oh, like oh, like coolest. Like to me, coolest car ever. And also, he has an S54 swap E30. So, so S or A. I'm saying, dude, it's got a little bit of everything in here, man. Yeah. Oh. Screw it. S. <laughs> Dolan's favorite artist on this list. Uh, another member of Odd Future, my old boss, <laughs> Tyler, the creator. When we first came up with the concept of this, Tyler and Frank were like, why we wanted to do it. Also got a Lancia Delta. Very cool. I don't love the color. I do. His Delta McLaren, McLaren, of course, you can see that on the cover of Flower Boy in the very distance in the background. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I'd say A or B. A or B. Probably A. I Let's think I think a. Tyler 
he loves cars. He does. You know, mm-hmm. like he's like he's really into it. This McLaren goes zero to sixty in two point no weather. I'm gone. Oh yeah, dude. The dude. album came out. I lived alone. I was single. And all I do is talk about cars. It's literally my job. So I really it, related to that hit one. a little deep for you? Dude, hit me right here. And for that, A tier. This doesn't really qualify, but we're going to include Lil Nas X on this list because his real name is Montero. And the reason that his mom named him that is because she really wanted a Mitsubishi Montero. Great car. Great car. I'd give that a C. Slept on. <laughs> Slept on car. Montero. We had to include Cardi B on the list. It's one of the biggest stars on the planet. One thing that is funny about Cardi B, to me, and the real reason she's on this list is because uh-huh. she doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> but she's still spent millions of dollars on cars. Why? Well, she told James Corden that she buys cars so she doesn't feel like a poser rapping about them. That is legit, dude. I like that. How am I gonna spit bars about an Aventador <laughs> yeah. if I don't have an Aventador? Yeah, she does have an Aventador. She has an Aventador S Roadster. That's tight. She's got a Hellcat. Uh, she's got a McLaren 720S. She's got a Lamborghini Machine Urus. Uh-huh. A Fiat 124 Spider, which I bet was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Bentley Bentayga? Big bags busting out the Bentley Bentayga. <laughs> I'm gonna give this like, I'm gonna say like A. I'm, I'll say A, sure. Okay, this next one. This is a max bag. Uh, this one was given to us by the Donut Underground. You want to learn more about that, hit the join button, or there's a link in the description. This is Cemetery Grave Man. Okay. And he drives trucks. Your phone's getting hotter, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, That's C- a Bronco? C- or an F- F- Cemetery F- Grave Man. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> post day, post, post Malone. Post. post Malone is another one who I think has really great taste and then sometimes some questionable taste. Mm-hmm. But I do think when he does have questionable taste, it's like ironic. He's self-aware. Yeah. I love expensive jokes. <laughs> and uh, You have one uh, <laughs> on your body. He's also got the 6x6 Ford Raptor. Which is hilarious. He's also got a Bugatti. If you're gonna do a supercar, if I ever had like a million dollar car, white, white, white. White on white on white. And And also, that C10 is damn near perfect. Yeah, it's the best. That's the be- that's the coolest car I've seen. As the uh, as Donuts uh, resident even... registered patina file. I really dislike that. How term. would you rate the patina on that? Car? Oh, that's perfect. I mean, that's like, that's that's what you want. That's a great that's a great truck. Okay, solid B. B. Okay, A. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Solid A. This is the last one we're gonna cover on this list. Kanye West. He raps a lot about cars, Benzes, Maybachs, Porsches, Lamborghini Machines, Corollas. Mm-hmm. He mentions a Rav Four, mm-hmm. although not in a very flattering light. So Kanye is tough because he simultaneously seems to have good taste mm-hmm. and bad taste, not just in cars but in everything. Spike Jones directed that video for Otis. That was a great video. Just like ripped up a Maybach. I I love that video. It's so cool. It's so like such a such a different kind of flex. Yeah. You know what? I came into this thinking I was gonna bash on Kanye. Mm-hmm. Listen, Wait. I'm gonna go ahead and say Kanye West is. If if I don't like it, I don't get it. So S tier. <laughs> I was gonna say like. B. S. I really think B, because like there's not a lot of range. It's not like with Frank. B. No, I, I'll give you look, a B. I'm not trying Listen, to. Listen, you're right. B. We can't. We were gonna give him an F. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like Kanye's music. Me too. I just want to say that. Yeah. I love his music. I love his politics. <laughs> <laughs> Donut just hit five million subscribers on YouTube, and we're so grateful for all the support that the Donut community has shown us over the years. Every meme, every piece of fan art, every Mopal baby we see in the comments fuels us to bring you more stuff. And to celebrate this monumentous occasion, we're releasing this limited edition sticker that says, Hey, I was there when Donut hit five million. Now you've only got seven days to order one at DonutMedia.com and then we're never going to make it again. Never, ever, 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 never. You guys are the reason we make this stuff. Seriously, thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys so, so much. It means the world to me. Five million people, I literally can't even imagine that number very well. Honestly, Donut changed my life. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, I love you. 
There's no way that we could include uh, everybody on this list. If there's huge car people that we didn't cover in this, let us know down in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button. If you want to learn about the history of cars and rap, check out this uh, video that Nolan made. Follow him on Instagram and Twitter at Nolan J. Sykes. Thank Follow you. me at James Pumphrey. Follow Donut at Donut Media. Thank you. I love you. It's, it's lit. lit.